This video is for licensed and trained HVAC technicians only. Do not attempt any of these procedures on your own. Call the professionals. Hey guys, it's Eddie. Today I want to shoot a quick video and show you all how to figure capacity of an air conditioner and uh, determine what efficiency it's running at. Uh, there's a couple different efficiency ratings out there. There's the EER and the SEER. The C ratings, uh, it's a calculation over a period of time, over a period of the whole season, and that gives you your rating. They go anywhere from 13 C up to 21 C or so. And you get your EER rating, uh, which is basically what the unit is running right now. We can't measure C ratings, not out here on the field, but we can measure the EER rating. In order to do that, you need to know exactly what the BTUs or your air conditioner is putting out and you need to measure the watts. Alright, so you take your BTUs, you divide it by the watts, and that gives you your EER rating. So today I'm going to use my 435. That's going to measure my airflow. You know, remember to get BTU, BTU is 4.5 times empathy difference times CFM. So you need to measure your wet bulb and your supply and your return, convert it to empathy, use an empathy chart, and subtract the two. That's how you get your empathy difference times 4.5 times CFM. 435 does all the figuring for me. All I have to do is there's two probes, there's got two wireless probes. I stick one in the supply and one in the return. I got a mini vane and a monitor that we use to measure the airflow. And this is going to spit out a BTU for me. All right. Then I'm going to use my amp probe. This is an amp probe uh, ACD 51 nav. Uh, I was talking to Jim not too long ago at True Tech Tools, and he was telling me about this meter. Uh, it's one of the cheaper meters on the market that's going to measure watts, all right, which is here. All right, so with this meter and with some way of measuring airflow and getting your BTUs, you can determine what, how efficient your air conditioner is running. So let's give it a try. All right, I've got the two probes, one's for the supply and one's for the return. I'm going to go ahead and stick these in the duct work. Then I'm going to measure my airflow. All right, the next thing you got to do is you got to measure your return air duct. Mine's 10 by 25, and I'm going to enter that into my 435 here. All right, I'm going to measure airflow now. I'm going to hit mean, I'm going to go timed, I'm going to hit start. This is going to take a time average of this and it's going to give me my average CFM and my average BTU. Alright, so right now I'm operating at about 34,500 BTU and I'm right at 1200 CFM, 1100, 1200 CFM. Alright, so let's go outside and I'll show you the second part of this. Alright guys, to determine watts, uh, all you need to do is get your voltage and your amp draw and you multiply two together. Voltage times amps equals watts. Alright, with this particular meter here, all I have to do is just clamp around one of my hot wires and hook my leads to L1, L2 and that gives me my watts, my kilowatts. And kilowatts is just... Uh, to get your watches you multiplied by thousands. Alright, so if you didn't have this particular meter, you just set your volt meter to volts. Turn the light on, maybe it'll make it a little bit better. And you just measure your voltage. So right now I'm running at 239 volts. I'm going to record that. 
All right, the next thing we're going to do, you need to get an amp draw. So turn your meter to your amp draw, clamp it around your wire. And right now we're pulling uh, 10.9 amps. All right, again, I've got mine set up to where it's going to go ahead and measure the watts. So I've got it. I'm going to push hold. I'm going to take this in the house. We're going to figure uh, what the efficiency rating is on this thing right now. Alright guys, to get your watts, like I said, it's just voltage times amps. And right now we're at 239 volts. So it's 239. And we're at 10.9 amps. So it's 26, pretty much 26,000 watts. Alright. I'm going to write 26,000 or 26,000. I'm sorry guys, 2600 watts. And if you looked at my amp clamp here, and that's exactly what it measured, right around 2600 watts. I know I said 1000 earlier, sorry about that, but it's kilowatts. Whatever you get times 1000 gives you your uh, watts. So it's 2600 watts is what we've got. Alright. Now, earlier when I measured my airflow, I was at 34,200 BTUs. And you just divide them two together, and that gives you your, your uh, efficiency rating. So if I get my calculator and I put in 34,200 BTUs divided by 2,600 watts, that gives me my efficiency rating of 13. So basically what that's telling me is right now I'm running at 13 sear. Alright, so right now it is 87 degrees outside. I normally keep my house at 78, but I've got this thing turned down so I can keep the air conditioner running so we can do a couple different tests. Alright, so that's what my temperatures are right now. So at, at this setting 77 degrees um, I'm running at 13 sear I have a 3 ton air conditioner uh, it is a, an infinity series I think it's an infinity 16 it's an older air conditioner uh, and like I said right now it's running at 13 sear alright what EER is is that that's basically the ratio the output of your air conditioner to the input of the wattage that it's using at a given point. Alright, the given point would be your outdoor temperature, which in my case is 87 degrees right now, and the return air temperature, which is minus 77 degrees. So at 87 degrees outdoor, 77 degrees indoor, I'm running at 13 sear. Alright, now what sear rating is, it basically uses this same formula except for the outdoor temperature. It figures it through a wide range of temperatures throughout the season. So this is at one outdoor temperature basically and this is at multiple outdoor temperatures. And they just kind of average them. Alright, so that's basically the difference between EER and SEER. This is energy efficiency ratio and this is the seasonal energy efficiency ratio. Alright, hope that helped clear that up a little bit. Alright, the benefit of knowing this uh, if you're out doing your preventive maintenance or you're doing a check and clean and you've got a unit that's really dirty uh, or it's just not running properly, charge is wrong, whatever the case may be. If you just real quick take this measurement down and show them, listen right now your air conditioner is running at this sear rating, then you perform your maintenance, you clean it, you get the right charge and everything working properly, then you retest this and say, okay after your cleaning, everything that I've done, now we're up 15 sear or whatever the case may be so again that's just another tool to set yourself apart from the other technicians uh, 
homeowners like to see this kind of stuff. They want to know that you're not just there with a the garden hose hosing off the air conditioner and just doing whatever. And if you can provide them numbers, I think you're going to win every time. So, this is a simple test for you all to do. Uh, good luck, and see you on the next video.